In this series of videos you will see how to create light and strong body parts of complex shape from a photograph or sketch to a finished metal coated composite part. In this video we will model a part with a complex geometry from a photograph, then we will figure out how to scale it so that after 3D printing the part exactly matches the desired parameters. Likes and comments under this video, so we begin. Usually it all starts with sketches, arts, photos and screenshots of the part we need. The larger images of the objects from different sides can be found, the more accurate our model will be. We load such images into Blender as samples and those angles on which the parts is most accurately set in frontal and lateral sides use as a background image for modeling. Here are the general rules for topology or object meshing. First we set the general contours and the reference lines and then we move on to modeling the details. The simpler the geometry, the easier it is to edit objects at all stages. A grid of quads is better than a grid of triangles or other polygons because it is the quads that form the sequence of planes which you can later edit and add edges and other details using loops. The closer the quads are to square, the more correct the objects will look after adding modifiers. We do not pay extra attention into the topic of modeling from photographs, because hundreds of high-quality detailed manuals have already been made on this topic, for which I am very grateful to my colleagues on YouTube. Here are links to the channels I have been learning modeling from over the past few years. In addition, at the time of filming this video, there are already several AI instruments that make something like 3D model from a photograph, but the mesh accuracy is still many times rougher than an object modeled by hand with the correct mesh topology. If you have found any soft that can really build a 3D model from a photograph, please write about it in the comments, because it will save many hours of work. There is a huge advantage when the parts are modeled by the same person who prints them. Already in the process of modeling, we can adapt the part for the fastest and most convenient printing. For example, knowing how much problems we get with support parts, we initially add additional surfaces to our part in the slots and a support wall at the bottom. Because it's much easier to make cuts in the right places than to align the top printed layers with the ladder and remove the support parts. Thus, after setting the required thickness using solidify modifier and export the object to STL, we get a part fully adapted for printing. This modeling technique is faster and easier than modeling ordinary cosplay suit parts, since in fact we only need to model just a front surface, and you do not need to set the volume, separately model the inner wall and side walls. Now we have a virtual part of the required shape. But how can you be sure that a part model from a photograph will be the correct size after printing? If it were a car body or a part of mechanism, we would just set the parameters specified in the technical drawing. But in the case of a suit, the piece must fit perfectly into a complex geometry shape like a human body. To do this, I propose to create a virtual model of your own body. Five years ago such a task was performed using the same method of building a body part from a photograph was done by hand and took from several hours to several days, depending on the required detail. Now you can create your own virtual avatar in 5 minutes just using a smartphone and a free app. Install one of the applications for body scanning and then follow the instructions and use the front camera of the smartphone to scan the head and then the rest of the body imagining yourself as a ballerina from a music box. After 5 minutes of scanning we get our own 3D virtual avatar, which can be animated, made to dance, downloaded as a mode in GTA San Andreas, but most importantly, we get a virtual dummy, uh, by on which you can try on a suit and customize our parts as accurately as possible. If you, like many of my friends, are more accustomed and more comfortable to model the details of the costume by hand, then the dummy can be printed on a 3D printer and suit details can be sculpted with the help of the good old plasticine. If you have watched behind the scenes on how suits are made for Star Wars, DC and Marvel superhero movies, including Iron Man, 
You probably noticed that even with the current level of development of computer graphics, suit makers still use hand sculpting and plasticine to prototype costumes and technique. An even more accurate 3D model may be required for the head, because the dimensions of the helmet need to be adjusted as accurately as possible, taking into account the level of the eyes and reserve for the inner layer of the helmet its filling and the soft layer of protectors. To do this, the company Ken Tools made a special add-on for Blender. It is called Face Builder. Install this add-on and just download a few photos of your head from different angles. A pair of Neuralink networks automatically matches the nodal points of your head and the build template with the ideal topology. And in 10 minutes you get the most accurate 3D model of your head with millimeter accuracy and well-adjusted mesh. I scale my helmet in this way in order to achieve the most accurate fit viewing angle but with a margin for a layer of shock absorbers for a comfortable fit. If this video was useful for you, click the like, share it with your friend and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the next videos in which we will print the model part, strengthen it with the composite materials and cover it with metal. Good luck with your own projects and see you soon!